Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Merge Search Algorithm. So before we start coding, let me explain how the Merge Search works. So let's take this unsorted array for example, and the first step, we need to comp we need to divide the array into halves until each half has only one element. So we start by dividing the array from the middle, and we're going to get a left half and right half. We're going to do the same again, divide them from the middle, and then we're going to get eight halves. We're still going to do the same again and divide each one of them from the middle and then we're going to get 8 halves. So now each half has only one element which means we cannot divide them any longer. So now we start the second step which is merge each two halves into one sorted half. So let's start by taking the first two halves and merge them into one sorted half. To do this we need to compare the two elements and add the minimum element first. So now in this case 3 is less, so we add it first, and then we add the other element which is 5. So we do the same for the next two halves and merge them into one sorted half, and then do the same for the rest of our halves. After we finish, we start over again by taking the first two halves and add them into one merge sorted half. And by adding the minimum element first, in this case we add the number 1 first, and then 3, 5, and 6. And do the same for the other two halves and then we finally merged our two halves into one sorted array which is our answer so now you know how the dividing works and merge let me explain in date in details how the sorting works so let's take this area of the example right here so now we have the left half and the right half we need to sort them into this sort of, into this array so to do this we need three variables which are i j and k i is the index of the left half, j is the index of the right half, and k is the index of our merged array. And first we need to compare the i element with the j element to find the minimum one of them and add it to the k element. In this case one is less, so we add the number one to our merged array. And after we add the number one, we need to increment the j to move to the next index. So now it becomes one and move to the next index and we also need to increment the k to move to the next index now the i stays the same because we still didn't add the number three and we need to compare it with the new element of j which is six now we add the minimum one of them to our merge array which is three and after we add the number three we need to update the i index so now it becomes one and move to the next index we also need to increment the k to move to the next index so now we compare the j with the new value of i, which is 5. In this case, 5 is less, so we add the 5 to our merged array. After we add the number I, uh, 5, we need to increment the index i. It becomes 2, and since there is no index in this left half that is equal to 2, now we're finished with this left half. And we need to also increment the k with, to move to the last index. And right here, we only have one element left which is 6 so we simply add it to our merged array now we finished sorting these two halves into one merged array and now we have finished explaining how the merge sort works so now let's take an example but before, before we start coding let me tell you a little bit about this channel so this channel is all about data structure and algorithms and I'm going to upload two videos each week just like this one related to data structure and algorithm so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe to the ch channel and you can let me know which video do you want to see next by writing down in the comment section below so now let's jump into our code this is our example we started here by creating a java project which has only one class called merge sort and right here we have our main method it only has an integer array called result and down here we're going to create our two function the, uh, the divide and the merge method let's start with the divide and right here let's create the static the merge method so in the divide method we know we have to divide the array into two halves and create the left half and the right half so we're going to take our, our integer array let's call it input array and inside here function 
we need to create a variable variable called uh, input line which has the our input array link and now we need to find our middle index which is equal to our input link divided by two and uh, input link divided by two and now we need to create our left half is equal to new integer array that is equal to our mid index and we also are going to create our right half is equal to new uh, we cannot set this one equal to the middle index too because if we have an input array with odd odd values uh let's say for example five if we divide the element by two the the integer would be uh two and a half but neglect the values after the point so it will be two the mid index so the first uh, uh, array would be two and the other other right half should be three so we can say it's equal to our input length minus the end index and now we created our left half and right half and we need to put our values inside them so let's create a loop i is going to start from the zero index i is less than <coughs> mid index and then increment our i we're going to set the left half at index i to our input array at index i we're going to do the same for the right half this one is going to start from the mid index and j is less than our input line and then the j plus plus now we're going to say right at index j but the j is going to start from the mid index and we need to start from the zero index right here so we're going to say minus mid index and then it's going to be equal to our input array at the index of j and after we put our values in our left half and right half uh, we need to do the same for the left half and the right half. We need to divide the left half again and create, uh, let's say for example, this is our original array. We divide it from here. This is our left half. We need to do the same here, divide it from the middle, and then create the left half and right half. So I need to call this function recursively for the left and right half again. Let's say divide left half and then again the five divide right half and then we need to, we were going to do the same we keep dividing the halves until there is only one element in our half so we can check that by saying if our input line is less than two return turn to anything and then we finally we're going to call our merge method and we're going to give it our input array to update it, its values with the left half and the right half and then Let's start coding our merged array, uh, merged method. We're going to take our input array. Let's call it input array. And also our left half as well as right half. 
And in this merge method, we're going to merge the both of them. So let's take the length of the left uh, and right halves. And also do the same for the right. Let's take its size. And now we're going to create our variables i equal to zero and j is equal to zero and k is equal to zero too. And let's say while our i is less than the left size and j is less than our right size. We're going to do our so let's say, for example, we have the uh, halves of, uh, let's say, for example, the left half is equal 3 and 6, and the right half is equal to 1 and 4. In this uh, loop, we're uh, checking if the i is less than the left dot size, and the j is less than the right dot size, we're going to do the loop. Uh, but if the j is greater than the left dot size or the j is greater than the right dot size, we're going to exit out of this loop. But inside here, we need to check the first element of the left half with the first element of the right half and compare them. Uh, the minimum element, we're going to add it to our input array. So let's say right here, if left half at index i is less than or equal to our right half with the element j we're going to add we're going to add the left half let's spell this one now we're going to update our input array at index k to be equal to our left half with index i and we need to increment our i element otherwise if the uh, right half is greater the element in the right half is greater let's say else we need to update our input array at the index of k is equal to our right half with the j index and also we need to increment our j but uh, whether if we added the i element or the j element we also need to increment our k element so now let's say for example we add the i first and then three and then four after we add the number four we increment the j so now j is greater than our left uh, half so we exit our this loop but we still didn't add the number six so we need to check if the left half has element still we need to add them to our input array or we need to check the right half as well because in a different test case we're not sure if the uh, remaining value would be in the left half or the right half so let's delete one, this one and then go down here and check the left half if, if it has uh, elements left over so if the i is less than left size which means there is still elements Let's uh, update the input array at index k to be equal to our left half with index i. And then increment the i as well as the k. We're going to do the same right here for the right half. But in the right half, we need to do it for the j. And then let's say right and also right here change it to J and then update the J as well. And what's wrong here? Ah, right F. Okay. Now we have finished with and now we have finished the merge method as well as the 
divide method so right here we have our integer array let's call our divide method and give it our result and then let's print out the values the same integer num out of results let's say just print our number and let's run the example as you can see here there is no problems and the values are sorted from the original array which is uncertain so that's it for today i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to subscribe like and share and catch me on the next one